Hey kids, it's Miss Amber. So this is not about a book or really a lesson. It's this sensory play item that I was given um, that I really wanted to show you guys. It's called Kinetic Sand. Um, as you can see, it does look, it reminds you a lot of sand. It has that same kind of feeling, kind of, only the sand sticks. This sand sticks together. Um, this is the container it came in. Um, you're supposed to, when you get the sand out, if you stuff it in there, you can make a little castle. Um, if you guys, uh, are interested in this, my mother-in-law got it at Michael's in Richmond, because that's where she works. Um, you can probably also find it at Walmart or Amazon. It's a really good sensory tool. We had it in our sand and water table. Um... And the kids really enjoyed it. I'm just moving the sand around so you can like see how you can shape it. Um, it will be really good for fine motor skills because it um, you use your fingers and it gets uh, it just helps with like finger strength. And then it can also be a really good calm down toy because where we've been stuck inside a lot, you know, the weather isn't always cooperative. We can't always go outside. Um, it could just be, uh, like, you know, if you need a moment to collect yourself and you need to just take a break, you can, you know, sit and play with this sand. I have not found it to be messy, but I'm also not a child. Um, I'm not purposely trying to make a mess, not saying that the kids would. Um, I just know I don't want to clean it up. Um, but I don't think it is as messy as Play-Doh. You can shape it into pretty much anything. Um, you can make shapes, you can use it to teach shapes. Uh, so for example, I'm going to put the phone down for a second. I am trying to roll it into a good circle. Um, so you can use it, you can talk about how, um, when a shape is flat, when a circle is flat, it's a circle, but when, and this isn't a perfect one, but when it's filled in, when it's three-dimensional, it's called a spear. We had started trying to teach the kids about 3D shapes. We've done that all throughout the year, but it's kind of a concept that's really hard for the kids at this age because they see it and it's like, oh, that's just a circle. Well, kind of. If it was 2D, if it was flat, it would be a circle. If Since it's not, it's a uh, spear. And then I'm going to make a cube. So you can use this. Like, I know we're all on summer break right now, or at least you guys are. Um, we're still doing a few things for work. Um, but it would be, you know, if you wanted to review some things before kindergarten starts or before preschool starts or even, you know, just in the summer, just, you know, to, to not lose anything that they have learned in the classroom this year, it would be a really good activity. I know you don't want to see my desk. I apologize about that. So here's a sphere. Um, yeah, I could normally make them look better, but I was trying to hurry, and I was using only uh, trying to use only one hand because I was trying to get back on here for you guys. But you can talk about you know a square has four sides, and that's a flat shape. But you know when it's three dimensional, when it's filled in, it is called a sphere. Um, and it sticks together pretty easily. Um, I've not found it to dry out. Um, I've always, it's still, I opened this about a few weeks ago, um, when I got it, just to play with, and, um, it's still, you know, it's not dried out like Play-Doh would, so that's a benefit. Again, I'm moving it around everywhere, but it's not making a really big mess. But there are some pieces, so now I'm going to stack it all together. I'm just picking up the few pieces that came apart and see, and there it is. Nothing else is over my desk. So it is an easier cleanup for you guys on rainy days. I would still, you know, watch while your child plays with it because um, you don't want to lose the chunks of it because it's not that, I mean, it's a pretty good amount for that container, but you don't want to lose it and you don't want it all over the house. Um, it comes in different colors. Um, they can pretend to cook things. They can, they can use all kinds of things with their imagination with this. Um, I really, really like it and 
whatever August looks like or whenever we go back to school, um, as long as it's safe to get it back out, because this is something a lot of people would touch, I would like to get it back out in the classroom. Now, if it's not safe for me to do that, I won't. But when the day comes that we can safely play um, with toys and materials like this, I intend to put it back in the classroom because it is just, it's fun, it's relaxing, you can make things, it's good fine motor skills, um, it can help like with their attention span because they're going to want to concentrate on what they're making, they're not going to just, oh I'm done after two seconds, or at least um, some might, but some might not. Um, it's portable, it's not expensive, I think she only paid a few dollars for it. Uh, you can probably also find it on Amazon or Walmart. Um, and when you're done playing with it, pick up the little pieces. It goes really easily back into the container. So, it is not difficult to put back at all. And you just, you smush it down. I try to smush it down as far as I can because I want to make sure it doesn't get dried out. Now the lid is pretty good. But also, again, um, you can make a little sand castle with the container. Um, so yeah, and then the lid. So that was a pretty easy cleanup. There's nothing on my desk. There's like one or two very small pieces that I missed. But yes, I would highly recommend this as a good calm down toy, as a good toy. You can practice shapes and numbers, colors. You can incorporate this into all kinds of mini lessons or reviews. Um, it's not that messy. It doesn't dry out. Uh, the kids can use their imagination to make whatever they want. So I highly, highly, highly recommend Kinetic Sand.